psychological illness to be healed by psychological medicine. You can use one idea to cancel another. You can balance a negative emotion by instilling a positive one. Giving is the opposite of greed. Benevolence is the opposite of hatred. Understand clearly now, this is not an attempt to liberate yourself by auto-hypnosis. This is not auto-hypnosis, but getting to know the truth with wisdom. You cannot condition enlightenment. Nirvana is an unconditioned state. Nirvana is an egoless state, completely free from ego grasping. Although we've eliminated the notion of ego, our innate ego grasping is still there. It's not that easy. If you've eradicated ego grasping, then that is nirvana. Nirvana with residue. Nirvana is an unconditioned state. A liberate person will indeed be generous and benevolent. If you are egoless, you are definitely generous and benevolent. But not because he has been conditioned to be so. It's unconditional. He will be so purely as a manifestation of his own basic nature, which is no longer inhibited by ego. So this is not conditioning. This is rather psychological medicine. If you take this medicine according to directions, it will bring temporary relief from the symptoms of the malady from which you are currently suffering. Then you can get to work in earnest on the illness itself. You start out by banishing thoughts of self-hatred and self-condemnation. This agrees with what I've said just now. Don't wear a sad face anymore. Many people are still caught up in self-condemnation, which is due to strong ego grasping. Even as practitioners, they are trapped in emotions and daydreams every day. Sometimes, they consider themselves as bad practitioners and scold themselves every day, including in WeChat groups. Will it ever work? Here it says that we need to banish self-hatred, but repentance is surely fine. If you've eradicated ego grasping, your repentance will be different. Because at that time, your enemy is emotion rather than yourself. When you did something wrong, meditate that this bad guy did bad things again and I haven't subdued it. My awareness hasn't subdued ignorance, affliction and karma. At this time, what should you think? You should inspire yourself even more and increase your wisdom and concentration to fight against afflictions and ignorance rather than self-hatred or self-condemnation. If you are caught up in self-hatred or self-condemnation, you are totally heading in the wrong direction. What's the use of it? You allow good feelings and good wishes first to flow to yourself. This is important, which actually increases the power of your enlightenment. This is relatively easy. Then you can do the same for those people closest to you. Gradually, you work outward from your own circle of intimates, until you can direct the flow of those same emotions to your enemies and to all living beings everywhere. The enemies here include all living beings. Correctly done, 
this can be a powerful and transformative exercise in itself. This is practicing loving kindness. Be kind to yourself, then be kind to all living beings, and then you can start meditating. Without loving kindness, you can't really start meditation. The loving kindness is not emotional attachment or self appreciation. It's a kind thought, a good feeling, and a good wish for yourself, and wish all living beings to be free from sufferings, attain bliss, and eliminate afflictions. Afflictions are our enemies, while all living beings are Buddhas. In reality, all of them have enlightenment, which just needs to be uncovered. Well, this verb seems inaccurate. At the beginning of each meditation session, say the following sentences to yourself. Really feel the intention. Well, this chanting seems to strengthen ego grasping, which seems wrong. May I be well, happy, and peaceful. May no harm come to me. May no difficulties come to me. May no problems come to me. May I always meet with success. Number two. May I also have patience, courage, understanding and determination to meet and overcome inevitable difficulties, problems and failures in life. Well, don't chant this because it obviously increases ego grasping. Before each meditation session, aspire like what I've said. May my equanimity and awareness arise. May I get enlightened and extinguish ignorance. First, we should extinguish the ignorance of ego grasping. May I objectively treat all issues on my mind and body. Your attitude should be like this. You can transcribe what I've said just now and read before each meditation session. It will guide you into an objective state, which is pretty fine. You can transcribe what I've said into text and read, which is much better than this one. Of course, my method is pretty advanced different from this one, which might be designed for beginners without egoless wisdom. This is practicing loving kindness, the immeasurable love. To put it simply, aspire all living beings to extinguish ignorance, eliminate greed, hatred, ignorance and doubt, and truly get enlightened as an aspiration for all living beings. This is a kind of loving kindness. First, wish all living beings to extinguish ego grasping, subdue afflictions of greed, hatred, ignorance, doubt and arrogance, and then eradicate the root of afflictions with egoless wisdom. This is the attitude. Dedicate what you are doing to all living beings, and may all of them achieve it. This is the best dedication. For example, if you are healthy, you can dedicate to all living beings to be free from illness. If you've subdued your desire in meditation today, you can wish all practitioners, all people, to subdue their desire. If you've subdued your hatred today, you can wish all practitioners, all living beings, to subdue their hatred. 
Before meditation, you can also aspire like this. During meditation, may all meditators be mindful and awakened. Extinguish ignorance and subdue greed, hatred and ignorance. This kind of dedication is loving kindness. Remember this, if you wish to succeed in what you are doing, you should dedicate to all living beings to be able to do it well and successfully. This kind of dedication is the best, which is the immeasurable love and immeasurable compassion. If you want to accomplish something, you certainly wish all living beings to accomplish it. This is the most realistic and best dedication. The four immeasurables are closer to your current state of mind. What are the four immeasurables? is to wish all living beings to achieve what you wish to achieve. This is immeasurable love and immeasurable compassion. Besides, there is also immeasurable equanimity, namely being impartial. If you wish to get a result for what you are doing, you definitely wish all living beings to get the same result. Hold the same attitude to your enemies and to all living beings. This is equanimity. Then your medication will succeed soon. Aspire like this from the bottom of your heart. This is not chanting, but a sincere wish from the bottom of your heart with nothing fake. In this way, you will succeed.